everyone and welcome back to another video. So we have an exciting video today. We are doing a graduation dress haul because I'm finally getting to graduate. If you are new, I am a 2020 graduate so I never got my graduation and I'm finally getting it two years later. I'm very very excited. I am graduating on May the 5th. Today is the 23rd of April, so I'm hoping I'm giving myself enough time <laughs> to find a dress. I have ordered five, but we actually only have four here because one of them is on like an eight to 10 day uh, delivery. Like I think it was on like a pre-order kind of thing. So we only have four, but I, right. These, this is an expensive haul because all of the dresses are not, that they, I would say they go from moderate to expensive. I have paid the most I've ever paid for one item of clothing for this. I have ordered options because I have no idea what I want. Like I, I, the only thing that I knew I wanted is I wanted the dress to match the back of my robe. And I think I wanted to wear a dress. I tried my hardest to find a suit because I really, really wanted to try a suit but I couldn't find any in the colour that I wanted. So I go, I went to University of York. So our graduation robes look like this. So they have like a dark grey kind of main colour. And then because I'm a BSC, it has a very light blue trim on the hood and that's what I wanted to match. I don't think it is the same on that. I don't think we've got anything on the hat. I think it is just on the robe that has the light blue detail in. But I wanted to match that because it's better than matching the dark grey colour that they have gave us. So I went for blues. I have never really worn blue in my life. So I'm hoping this is going to work. All of them are blue. I think one of them is white with blue flowers on it, I think. But the theme is mainly blue and I'm hoping it's going to work. It might not. I might have to reorder. I think if, I, if I'm not going to go blue, I'm going to go white. So that's kind of what will happen if I don't like any of these. <laughs> Hoping I like one of them. Like I say, I've spent a lot of money. I want to say I've spent about £500 overall ordering five dresses. There are, like like I said, different ranges. So we have two from Old Polly, which I think they were, I think one of them was, oh no, I didn't order the £40 one. There was some nice ones for like £40, but I think these were both 60 There's two in there. I can't wait to open. I love the I love the packaging from Opoly. So I'd say that's kind of like on the moderate end. Then I got one from Club L London. I've never bought from these next two brands ever. Like Opoly is the only one that I've ever actually bought from. But there is one. Got some of my dog's hair on there. One from Club L London, which was I think that one's about 60, 70 quid. So again, maybe moderate. When I say moderate, I'm saying for like a graduation dress, not for like just a dress like. I don't spend a lot of money on clothes, apart from my gym clothes. And this one is from, I've forgotten what it's called, House of CB. Now, I think this is renowned for being a bit more of expensive. I don't know, these, this, basically, they are more glam vibes and the most expensive one isn't. This is a lot more casual, but I've been wanting to try this style for a while, so, yeah, the, the other dress that I'm waiting for is also from House of CB. So that's the other one that I'm waiting for. So I am a size 12. I think everything is in a large. I think so, everything. Like when I used the sizing guide, I was in, in between a large and a medium. The struggle that I'm having with these dresses are basically, I am a medium or a large, but I have no boobs, like we can probably see, there isn't anything there. So I was a medium or small in the chest sizes, but then a large in the rest. So I, th I think I went with large. I think one of them, I think the Club L London is in a 14, because that's all they had. And I think that one's gonna be my favorite. So we're all over the place. I'll try and keep an eye on what sizes I am. I'm 5'8 for reference. I have no idea how much I weigh. So that's the sizing. I'm going to keep every single thing crossed that one of these is going to work or the one that I'm waiting for but I had the idea in mind that I am, um, I'll just, I'll pick out of these and then keep that one as like maybe the one that I'm going to wear. So in terms of other stuff because I feel like this does in, it matters in graduation, I don't know how I want my hair, I've got it in kind of like plait 
curls at the minute. This was an option, but like just fresh, so it would be bigger. Curled is probably the way I'm gonna go. I won't be having it straight, I won't be having it up. And I think I'm gonna get like white short heels to go with them. I think I might chuck some heels on to go with them because I wanna see how it looks with heels. Like I feel like my legs look a lot different in heels, so I will be wearing heels, but Yes, let's go. Right, I'm going to open the Old Polly one on camera. I also want to open this one because this is exciting. Like, it's in a parcel force kind of bag, but it's in a box. And I feel like whenever you get a box, you feel so special. Like, I feel like it's been, like, a PR package. So, let's open these up and get first looks of them. So, like I said, I got two from Old Polly. Like, isn't that just lovely packaging? I just love, I love a box. Right, I've got a boo and tea thing in there. Right, <laughs> right, they are both, well, that one's in a size 12. Yeah, they're both in a size 12. I don't have an invoice, so I might be able to, <laughs> I don't know how these are gonna look on me. Uh, I don't know, I'll, 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 I'll look up the pricing and we will get going. I'm very, very, very nervous. <laughs> Okay, outfit number one. So this is a <laughs> very short dress from Old Polly. I feel like I'm gonna have to come up close so you can see what it is properly. So it is like a pearl kind of embellished kind of dress with a cowl neck. This is the bit that I struggle with. Like I feel like that is, like look how far that goes up my neck. I feel like that's meant to have such more of a cowl, like with bigger boobs, but because <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong, it doesn't have that much of a cowl neck. So. I do, the thing is, style-wise, I absolutely love cowl neck, so I am gutted that it doesn't really suit me. One thing I do love, though, is at the back, so let me get closer again. Can you see, like, this? Sorry, I got confused at looking at it there. You can tie that to give yourself however much support you want on the straps, because obviously if, I've got it tied quite tight, but if you've got bigger boobs, it's going to need to come down a lot more. I think that is brilliant, like... That is a very, very good design feature. In terms of, let's say, quality, ah, this feels lovely. Like, I love all the different curls on it. I think it's really flattering because you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but like here, there are little kind of like shaping kind of aspects to it. It feels quite secure as well because it has like an under, what's it called? Like an undergarment kind of thing underneath it. So it does feel quite good. The colour... I quite like, I don't know if I suit it, like I'm really, I'm really worried that I don't suit the blue. There are, throughout the whole there are very different shades of blue, so I don't know, but I do, I quite like this blue, like I do quite like it. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know in terms of graduation dress, because it's very short, it is, I mean obviously you're going to have to ignore that because I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I think it's quite flattering. But I just don't know, like, I think you can get away with a shorter dress for graduation because obviously you've got your robes on. But I just, I don't know. I'm not sure. So, I also thought we could get Jack's reactions in this. So, like, boyfriend reacts to my graduation outfit. So, I'm going to call him in. This one is £60 and, like I said, it was a size 12. It does, like, this is the right size for me in terms of here. It's just not here. Are you out there? No, wow. I'm not sure of the colour, but I like it. it looks You're good. not sure of the colour, they're all blue. The black, are they all the exact same colour? No, there's like darker shades, right. but... I think that's what it is, I think it's because it's quite light. That's the colour of my hood, though. Right. I like it, you look really good, though. You think? Yeah, I'm in them. What do you think of it, though? Like, as the dress? I'm not sure. I'm not, like sure I'm not sure on the ball, but like... Uh, oh, I love it! Yeah. yeah, I really like it. Are we comfortable to sit on? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. They're only tiny. Um, this is quite trendy at the minute, like with all the pearls and stuff. Right, okay. Because um, like, it's quite big in like bridal kind of like sphere, mm. so I think it's trying to come into that. Right. Yeah, I'm just not too sure on that. Sorry. You what do you think really about the cowl neck? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah? Really like it's, um, it's meant for bigger boobs, but... <laughs> I really like it. Anyway, this is more of a, more of a glam one, but... I mean, I'm, I want, I want it. The thing is, for graduation with me, is it's a very, very, very big deal. Like, I'm the first one to go in my family. I didn't think I was going to get a graduation. I didn't think I was going to graduate. So, I am going all out. Deal with it. Right, 
We'll move on to the next Oh Polly one. That one was £62. It's a bit more of a shimmery one, but, well not shimmery, shiny. Shiny, that's a better word. So, we'll get it on. Okay, second outfit. So, I really, really like this in principle, but when I'm looking through the camera, like looking at myself through the camera, I don't think it's working, but it, I don't understand why it's not working, because I really, really like it. I think it might be a size too big, but I'm really not sure if I could fit into a 10. I have loads of room, like I do, like if you look at that, I mean this isn't a stretchy, well, is it stretchy? No, this isn't a stretchy material, and I do have quite a lot of room, but with all poly sizing, I'm not sure, I hope you saw my fall there, I'm not sure if I could fit into a 10. These, this because it's got a built-in bra, which I absolutely love, and um, if you can see how much it gapes without showing off my boob, like, there is a good gay pitch there. I, but I really, really like it. I think this is amazing. I think that is so flattering. And then because it makes like the cowl kind of, not cowl, I forgot what it's called, ruching, because it has that ruching going across, my bum looks good in this. Like, I think this is so, so flattering. I really like this part, like how it's a bit like see-through. If you can't really see it properly, it's lace. So, you can see through it, and this is boning. Obviously, it won't be like real bone, but it is structure. I like how it has the built-in bra. I like how it has this over it. I think that's how that's meant to go. Because that's there, it just like makes it do that. <laughs> so I think that's how that's meant to go. Err, uh, I just wish it fit a bit better. I don't know, because you can adjust the straps. I'll show you the back. You can adjust the straps, and then it has the lace. And I just think it's really, really flattering. So when Jack comes in, I'll ask him to um, like make the straps tighter and see if it works. But I love the high slip, but on the camera, I don't feel like the asymmetry works on me very well. I think the colour is better. I, I, I really like it. I think it's like more classy. And I just really like it, but I'm not sure if it's working. I don't know. I don't know if it's like, it would be better with my hair up. Um, the quality, lovely, really, really nice. It feels very high quality, but it's all poly. I would expect that. So I don't know. I really, really like it. Let's get Jack's opinion. I like this one. It's yeah. Really nice. Yeah, you're pretty good, isn't it? You didn't have like a wow reaction. I thought I did, yeah. For you. Fair enough. But yeah, you look amazing. Really like that. Yeah, what do you think yeah. about this colour? I like it, yeah. yeah. It's better than that, because I think it's because it was shimmy the last one. Yeah. This one I really like. This is kind of like a more desaturated blue, I think. Yeah. Like this is more going to the silver, kind of. Yeah. Um, I think it's a bit big though. Like, I don't know if I can fit it with size 10. I think it just looks a bit baggy and stuff. Like, but my tummy and stuff, it looks maybe a bit baggy. I don't think so. I think it looks good. I think like it... It looks nice having the, the bit of bagginess to it. Right, look, I can show Jack because he's like, look how much my boobs don't fit this though. Mm. Like, I think I'll have to get some like tape to push them up because I don't think right. if I put push up bags. Is it pushed up or is it pulled back? Yeah, pushed up, I think. Uh -huh. I'm going to ask you to try the straps in a second, but I think push if I put push up pads in, it'll fill it, but it won't like help. So I think mm. if I got tape, that might help a bit yeah. more. Yeah. Uh, could you try and pull the straps up to see if that's like an issue? Yeah, I mean, do you think that look? That's a bit better, isn't a bit it? Better, but yeah, I think I think you're right. I mean, I yeah, but look how it much it's digging in the. Yeah. I think I do need something to put, but I just don't know whether to try a smaller size because there's just like this excess material here. But you like this one? Yeah. I quite like this you're one. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> the next one is the I'm gonna do. Which one should I do? The Club L one is a little bit similar to this, so I think we'll move on to the House of CB one. Like I said, that's a bit more of a casual vibe. I'll double check the price in, but we are going on to one of the more expensive ones now. Right, I am out of shot because I have no clothes on, and it's a bit darker because I have the blind shut to get clothes, but look at that. Look at the way that it gets packaged up. Hang on, I'll get closer. Look how incredible that is, that it comes like that. Like, does that not just make you feel so special when it's packaged? I'm sorry, it keeps going in and out of focus. When it comes packaged like that, you expect that for how much you're paying. Like, oh my God, that is so freaking pretty. Okay, so 
this is the House of CV one. I'm a little bit... I don't know about it because from here upwards, I love it. I've never... I've, I really wanted to order this because I've never tried a dress that has like this kind of fit around the boobs and then the straps. I really like it. I think it's really, really flattering for kind of like smaller like breasts. <sighs> And I like it from here, which is where the waistband kind of is, where it kind of like cinches in. And it does have like a little bit of kind of um, structure going up the side, again, which I really like. The back is quite high, uh, but because this is quite high, it feels like it should be here, because this isn't very flattering, like down here, it feels like it's too big for me, but here, it just fits like uh, these straps aren't adjustable <laughs> apart from like the straps are these straps so you can pull it but you can't really make it any bigger I'm pretty confident so this is very tight like this I'll, I could just get away with this <sighs> but here like it feels like it needs to be like hang on let's see if I can try and figure out how I'd want it like it needs to be like that rather than like that like like that it kind of feels like it's a bit of a Eternity dress like because it's so wide here and um, I do like the slit I think that's very flattering but I'm just a little bit disappointed like I don't know and the material I kind of I don't know how I feel about it it's very nice it has an underlayer again and it does feel very thick which I do like but it also kind of feels a little bit like papery not in like I don't know how to describe it not in a terrible way but it does I don't know how I feel about it. It either feels high quality or low quality, and I can't really decide which. But I, I feel, am I wearing it wrong? I don't know. I don't know, like as well with that slit. I don't feel like you could ever get your uh, leg through a slit unless you were like that because this is so big. This was 129 as well, and I just, I don't know. It feels like this should be way lower. Like it definitely feels like if that was cinched to there then you could still have kind of like the flare out effect at the bottom but from the correct place because I can't like, I can't get that any further down because these straps are so tight as well and I, I was kind of like in between sizing like that's a bit nice that's so much nicer isn't it and I know you could tailor it yourself but it's just a bit like you're paying 130 quid you'd want it to be done nicely there like if that let's see if I can like if it was like that like that's really cute, that's flattering, it gives more of a waist, but I don't know, should we, let, hang on, let's see what it looks like with my hair, and like that kind of covers everything, and then it just kind of looks a little bit, like it just looks, oh wow, I like this as well, really? Yeah, you look really cute, it's less like glam, it's more yeah, like, oh yeah, I heard that was the point in these, it's more like summer day type thing, but I really like it, do you really? Yeah. Yeah. So my issues with it right. are that this is too high up, it would be better if it was like that yeah, and then it goes see. actually where my waist is. Yeah, At the minute that just feels like I haven't like... They're just out. Yeah, mm -hmm. it kind of looks like a maternity dress or like a, like a milkmaid kind of dress and then I love this. Like from here upwards, I love it. Mm -hmm. But you can't adjust the straps. Do you think this material is good quality or bad? Good that it's lined, but it just feels a bit rough, doesn't it? Yeah, like feel it there, just, just without feeling the line. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. It's a bit does weird, it? isn't it? No. This is hundred and thirty pound. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't seem worth that. I just it looks really I don't know, it just it, it doesn't it's not very fit. Flattering, yeah, it? uh -huh, it doesn't fit. It needs to be like that. And then it would be cuter. Like, mm -hmm. look how much nicer that is. Yeah. I think if they just made that lower down, it would be perfect. Better? Mm. I'm very disappointed. Off. It was, yeah. It's a fancy one. Yeah, the mm. one that is, hasn't came yet is basically this dress with puffy sleeves, and I don't think that's going to make mm. it even better. Yeah. Unless that's further down. Yeah. It's a shame. It is a shame. How many more you got? One more. One more. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we are done with House of CB, we're going to Club L London, and that is back kind of more on the glammy kind of look and it's quite similar to the last old poly one so let's get that one on last one so there are a few things to talk about with it i love it i really really like it 
but there are sizing issues again. From here down, it fits. Uh, it fits very snug around my waist. Like if I go at the side, you can probably see like there's not much, there's not much room. So it fits very snug. But the top, again, the boobs are an issue. If I have anybody standing here to me, which I probably will if I shake the hand of the chancellor or whoever, they're gonna see my nipples because if I try and I'll try and cover it so you can see, it gapes like crazy. Like ugh, I don't know how to show you without showing my nipples, but can you see like there? It just kind of comes forward. If I can right, let's see if I can do this. If I do it with that side, like can you see? You can see my full hand. Like it's like completely too big, and I don't think there is anything that can fix it because it is. It, nips that just happened and um, it's not like I, if I put some tape on pushing them up is not going to help it is literally because the material comes out like probably a good inch too far but that's kind of my only main problem with it apart from that I really like it this bit's a bit odd because this bit's like if you can see if I stretch it tight that's kind of the waistband but when I hike it up it kind of creases too much i'm not entirely sure it's meant to sit but i love this i love the ruching it makes everything so flattering one thing that is annoying though they've put the returns label here so i can't see where that actually falls because at the minute i'm scared that i'm gonna like again show some things off that i wasn't meant to show off at a graduation so I, it's a bit annoying but i can see that that's going to be like lying flatter like it'll be like probably like down there which is okay uh i like again the asymmetric but i'm not sure when i look at it on camera i like how it curls across my tummy i think it means that i'll be not as self-conscious on the day and i think even when i do this it's fine because this is kind of the main piece of the of the show i have no idea what i was <laughs> what to call it i can't remember the price i'll pop it up on screen because i can't look on my phone essentially uh, doesn't matter but i do quite like it i like how it's longer than the old poly one like at the full length that's how long it is rather than being still quite short and i really like the color i don't know if the color matches the hood though like i, I think it's a bit too dark but i really like it i think like i don't think i've talked about the quality the quality is beautiful like it is it's very very nice uh, it's very very soft one thing though i just had help i just had to get jack to help me put it on because these straps are complicated like it's all one strap so to get it <laughs> like up to the right height you had to like tighten it and then tie it in a bow but that is beautiful i love how my back's on show i don't know if it's suitable for graduation but in my head graduation is what you make of it and I'm not bothered, like when the robes are on, you're not going to see it. And then when I'm traveling places, I'm probably going to put a coat on. So that'll be fine. But I love that. Like, I love that. I think this is one that I could see myself wearing again outside of graduation. But I'm just not sure, like, if it's, without, without sounding awful, but whether it's like fashionable enough. Like, I don't know if it's just like a really simple dress that's been like, I don't know, but I love this. I love this. Right, I think we'll get Jack's verdict because I don't know if there's much more to say. Wow, I like that one. Yeah? I really like that one. Look at the back. I know you've already seen it, yeah. but... It's really nice. I think like that's the best one so far. Yeah? Yeah, you look amazing at it. Only problem is, look at my boobs. Yes, true. Like, you can see my boobs. Uh, the, like I was just saying to them, right. does that look as good though? Because it's meant to be a bit of a cowl. Do what you just did so I can see it. It's okay, isn't it? Because I could get Mama to stitch it a bit. Yeah, put it in a bit. Because like I like I was saying, I think if anybody comes that close to me, they're gonna see my nipples, and I literally have to walk up to a chancellor and be like, he's gonna get. A he it is a he, I'm pretty confident. He's going to get more than he bargained for. Yeah. Uh, but that's the only issue, and it's not like a bra can fix that. Because is, it, is it because it's meant to be more... more yeah, uh -huh. so like even if I put a bra on, there's still going to be like quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. yeah. 
And I think as well if I put a bra on, you might see the bra and it might ruin it. Would, yeah. So, yeah. what do you think of the colour? I like that colour. Um, oh, my phone's being used. I'll show you after right. the colour of my hood right. and I'll see if you think it would work because my hood colour is literally like the colour of that one. Right. So. I think, it, I think it, if it is, I think it gives it a nice contrast. I know, but I want it to match it. Like, that's the whole point, wearing yeah. blue. But you look amazing. I really like this one. Thank you. Uh, which one's your favourite then? No. This one? Mm. Okay. Have you, have you felt it? Mm. Well, yeah, I have got it before. Well, feel it like down here? Yeah. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. But yeah, I like that one the best. Okie doke. Amazing. Okay. okay. That is all of them. I am... Um, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna need some help, guys. Like, I really <laughs> need you guys to comment and let me know what you think. I... I really don't know <laughs> which... which I... Oh, I don't know if to look for some more. I don't know whether to try and buy some white ones and see how I feel with them. I really don't know. I thought it was going to be a case of I put one on and I'm like, yeah, this is the one. And all, honestly, apart from <laughs> the House of CB one, which I know isn't the one, I don't know. So, yeah, that's all of them. You're going to have to help me out. Anyway, I will finish off this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If it helped you, please let me know. I'm going to come down here because I've got... See? The nipples. They came out. Right, I'm going to sit. I'm going to do that. Uh, but I can't stand anymore because um, my, feet, my feet are hurting off the heels. Heels wise, I'm not going to wear these because they're too high and everybody said that you don't wear too high heels so your feet don't kill by the end. So someone, um, quite a few people have recommended the new look short heels. They are apparently very, very comfortable. Hopefully I can grab some of them. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave it a like. If you have any more suggestions on what I can wear, please comment and let me know. If you are graduating soon, please comment and let me know what you are wearing. That would be very, very useful. But I will hopefully see you in another video because hopefully you're going to subscribe. And now I've got a very difficult decision of deciding a dress. So yeah, thank you again and I shall see you in another one. Bye.